finally I'm making a video of the car driving uh, it's been a while uh, not for any particular reason other than uh, I went on vacation and did other things as far as that goes I got another build I'm doing um, which will be a uh, looks like it's gonna be a Ford Focus four-wheel drive using a single um, Tesla motor like the one that's in here so instead of using a sport motor I'm just gonna use a uh, the regular Tesla motor in it um, just because it doesn't need that much horsepower to go into a Ford Focus and a rally car so you know especially with instant torque so it'll be probably 275 300 horse or maybe even a little more depending on the battery pack I um, put in it as far as that goes but this car is quick I mean it's a thousand pounds lighter than the Model S it came out of uh, you know as far as the motor and stuff um, so it's it's amazing it's amazingly quick to me and I built a lot of uh, drag cars you know Detroit dragway in Detroit when I used to live there as far as that goes so um, this car I'm just giving you a little a ride around just to show you what's uh, what's going on I'm gonna change the camera view uh, in a couple minutes to show you the dash and show you uh, everything else I'm just going around you know my big block out to the main um, road and maybe out the side here you can see uh, kind of the acceleration and how quick uh, the car is uh, when I first got or my wife first got her model uh, three I was amazed how quick it was in fact zero to 60 in that car was quicker than any car I've ever built um, so I was like I was jealous let's put it that way I was just like I gotta build something that's gonna beat her if it's all there is to it I just was like this is ridiculous you know so anyway so I got the 4 GT Mustang and uh, the Tesla performance motor, the P90 motor, and uh, did my own design and did my own homework to figure out what the uh, what the deal was as far as how to do it and stuff like that. And I've always wanted to build an electric car for years and never had because of the battery problem all the time, being the lead acid batteries and stuff like that. So anyway, here's out on a, on a main street, and I'll just punch it. I mean, this car, it, it is quick. It's its amazingly quick. And that would just punch it down the street because I got traffic behind me, just getting out of traffic and stuff. And I don't, you can't see, but it's just all traffic in front of me as far as that goes. So, I mean, it's really, the car is so much fun, but I can't have that much fun with it because of where I live. Uh, so anyway, so this is gonna be that, and when, when I get back, like I said, I'm doing a big loop around the block. When I get back, I'm gonna take and move the camera. I'll show you my dash I set up to be able to do the Wi-Fi for the uh, controller and the motor. I got the controller from uh, Damien McGuire in Ireland. He does the board that you take and put inside the uh, inverter, which you can see on one of my other videos under uh, Tesla Motor Swap channel. Mustang GT and it will show more of what's uh, how do you how you do it as far as that goes and then you don't need to buy you know a whole controller from EV West for $3,500 um, which eats up a lot of your you know your not your profit but eats up a lot of the money you could put in other parts of your car to do things so that's kind of the issue I had is like wow $3,500 for a controller when I can spend now they're uh, you know just over $400 for the same board that I paid almost $600 for a few months ago because he found a new place to be able to uh, build them or you know put them together for him you know a company so that was great so anyway I'm just about back around the block back to my uh, domicile which is my big three-car garage it's got everything in it to build anything you can imagine because and I have so anyway we'll go in there I'll change the camera and I'll show you that my dash and everything's set up because uh, in the Sun it's really hard to do I've tried to do and it just I get glare and everything so in the garage it should be a lot better to be able to do this and I got a full lift in my garage so that's all nice okay so on to the next thing I'll show you the dash and I'll show you uh, under the hood real quick I'll show you in the back where the uh, 
motor and stuff is just so you have a good idea of what it takes and how to do it. it wasn't that bad it took me about three months but of course I have an internet business that I have to do um, you know every morning and stuff and you know I didn't work on it every day because some days I just had to just think about you know my next move as far as that goes but it really turned out nice I'm so happy with this one and that's why I'm gonna build another one uh, for like a dirt rally car um, well, that's what, you know, the plan is now four-wheel drive using just one Tesla motor and I designed a way to be able to use two differentials and then use a Tesla motor sideways uh, to be able to drive them. But I do have to take the gearing inside the Tesla and change it. And that'll be something that I'm not going to really divulge yet because it's, um, it's pretty cool and it might be patentable. So, and if that's true, I might, uh, do a patent on it so that, uh, uh, just so I might be able to make back some of the money that I spend on all this stuff, which would that would be nice, eh? Anyway, okay, I'll change the camera and show you guys the inside of the car. Okay, so this is my dash now. This is a GPS speedometer. I'm going to shut the garage door so we can get rid of the glare out of the uh, screen over here that I'm going to show you. Hopefully I don't cut the back of my car out because I don't know if I pulled in far enough. Whoa, that got dark. So anyway, so that's that. This is my screen, okay? And this is my control for the showing me different um, things here. Let me see if I can, I can't see very well. So that's um, one hour, amp hour I've used. Right now it's pulling about negative uh, one amp just to be able to get my uh, voltage see my voltage up here there's my finger 13.6 volts because it's charging the 12 volt battery if i can do this again oop. and i got 370 volts uh left in my pack so the cool thing about this is if i go god i can't oh i got home okay so we want to go to chrome so we turn on chrome and this is the great thing. This is what I love about it. Is that right here, let me, um, what do you call it, uh, refresh. And see if we get what I need. Okay, yeah. So anyway, here's all the parameters up here for my motor. Now all these, you know, I'm able to change and do different things with right in the car instead of bringing a laptop out or anything like that. So this is like the full commands here for it. And I can uh, do it, do an update if they have an update for the uh, controller inside the motor. These are the parameters. Uh, this is my boost parameter and free frequency and um, a lot of these things. I'm not going to explain it all because it just would make this video last forever. But these are all different things you can do. The charge, throttle, uh, regen. My regen works great. I get a lot of good regen when I let up the pedal. It's almost a one pedal drive. I don't have it totally one pedal drive because I just haven't set it up to do that yet. Um, like my wife's car is totally one pedal. You hardly ever touch the brake. Then there's automation, that type of stuff. And you can also, down here, you can also mark what you want to plot. Then underneath there is a screen right here that shows you your plots. As you uh, do different things, start plot, stop plot, pause plot, and uh, different, you know, how fast you want it to be done. But it really works out great. Oop. But anyway, that's what that is. So that that was awesome. That really worked out great for me. That noise you hear is my power steering pump. If you hear it in the background, I'll shut it off. That runs my power steering. And unfortunately, in these cars, you have to have something to run the power steering unless you have an electric power steering rack, which I really couldn't find for this car. So that was something that I didn't, uh, wasn't able to do. But back to home. And I do have my car launch in here. So I just drove a mile and a half to show you guys how it worked. And this is all my settings on that. So that's that. So I'm going to shut off for a minute so I can take and um, turn the lights on in the garage and I'll open up the trunk and the hood and show you what's going on there. So here's the back of the car. As far as that goes, the trunk is all able still to be used. This is just my charger over here. But the trunk is all, you know, still there and you pick it up. And you have all the goodies. 
down here that make make life work in this car. And the left side is the motor side. That's the inverter side for where it takes the 400 volts and turns it to um, three phase for the motor. And the center is actually what where the gearing is and everything to drive the rear wheels, uh, the rear axles for uh, with the differential in there and stuff. So that's all that. Batteries are, you can't see any batteries from here, so we will move to the front. Okay, so here's our batteries. This is a one six pack up here. They're Chrysler Pacifica batteries. That's a six pack there. There's two underneath it. There's two in the tunnel. And then there's two in the back where the gas tank were. So that's the battery pack up front. This is my DC to DC converter. This takes 400 volts from the packs and changes it to charge the battery at like 13.6 volts is what I charge it at. So that's that. Down here is the water pump that pumps the water from the radiator, the stock radiator I use through the motor and then back into this side, back into it. This is the power steering pump that you heard whining. Um, so this is what makes my power steering rack work. So that's the power steering pump, electric power steering pump. That's out of a, uh, a Volvo and it works without the CAN bus and stuff just by hooking one the power wires to it and one uh, um, hot wire to it it actually runs in like a uh, fail safe mode and it works great I've never I don't see any difference between regular and it and this in here is my vacuum pump that uh, is for my brakes to be able to uh, use my power brakes again so other than that, that's that's the setup. I mean, it's not, there's a lot of wiring, but nothing major, nothing crazy. Um, all my cables go through uh, gray uh, PVC type pipe used for electrical because you, you have to make it safe. If you get an accident, you don't want any of those 400 volt wires uh, going to ground easily. So you put them in plastic tube all the way back, which you can see, I think down here, yeah, you can see my tubes uh, running the, the two big ones are the uh, the four aught going back, and the other ones are um, 400 volt, but they're smaller. They're like I doubled up two 10 gauge wires in each one to get me my uh, power up to my DC to DC converter just to make it safe. So that's about the wiring, and that's about the car. I got another video of the car, so I'm going to show you that, and I'll uh, hook it to this video so you can see what the outside of the car looks like. So here's the outside of the uh, Tesla powered Mustang. Uh, it's running, because of the offset, I had to run a Corvette uh, rear wheels to get it so the tires would stay pretty much inside the fender. Fronts are Corvette too. This is a GT model, that's why it has a dual headlights and kind of nicer looking. So there's the walk around. I did drive it here, so at this point you know it drives. Well, that's it for today's video. Hey, thank you everybody for watching my videos and all the feedback you guys give me and stuff like that. I really do appreciate it. It makes uh, building the stuff and showing you guys uh, a lot of fun for me. You know, I'm, I'm older and I've done a lot of stuff and sharing uh, should be the way to go. Uh, when you get older you like to share stuff because you know someday you're going to be gone and then all that stuff that you learned in your head is going to be gone with you unless you give it away or you know share it with other people so hopefully i shared some stuff if you need to know more or want to know more um you can email me at jack at roadsercycle.com and i you know i do my emails every day because i do have an internet business roadsercycle.com that i do a lot of motorcycle parts for all over the world and so i do try to help people out and try to get the word out and uh, that type of stuff and be looking for my next videos on the Ford Focus. You can see in the background here some of my uh, scribbles out of my head just getting ready for the uh, Ford Focus uh, motor which should be here tomorrow. It's coming in uh, from New York so I'll have another Tesla motor to start working on and then we'll be, uh, not we, but I will be designing the uh, four-wheel drive part and that type of stuff. So it'll it'll be a good time. It should be fun. It should be great. This should be totally something amazing for a four-wheel drive focus with a uh, single Tesla motor instead of having two or three motors in it and it be a uh, rally car. So it should, hit, should be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. So again, thank you. 
Have a great day. See ya.